Hello and welcome to another episode of Modular in a Week. In this day, day 11, we are doing inputs and controls. And in the last episode, we did a simple touch interface based on a Synth DIY Guy's uh, tactile, which he did uh, a couple of years ago. Um, I thought I could make this into a gate output as well. Um, that wasn't possible and I've been looking around and trying to figure out what kind of circuit I could do to make this into a finger drumming or gate output uh, touch controller and I think I have found the correct circuit uh, it's a Darlington transistor uh, or Darlington circuit made with transistors uh, which I'll go through in a bit and with that I hope that uh, we can make a touch controller for uh, gate outputs like for example finger drumming and stuff like that so um, today I thought because I'm not sure this will work or not so I thought um, if this works if it doesn't work this might not become a video but if it works I thought you could uh, follow the process of trying to figure out how to make this circuit because I haven't made it yet as such. Before we do that I'd like to say thank you to my patrons who support me in all my endeavors and uh, with that get a few glimpses uh, of what happens behind the camera and uh, soldering videos and stuff like that that I don't do uh, to everyone uh, and um, so if you are into that kind of stuff then you can go and see what happens behind the camera over on Patreon. But with that said, today I'm going to show you what happens uh, behind the camera but in front of the camera uh, for uh, how we figure out how this circuit works and how we can make it into that module. So let's go. So the circuit we're going to build today is the Darlington transistor. Uh, and you can buy chips, uh, those T092 uh, package, packages uh, that are a Darlington transistor. But you can also make one with two regular NPM transistors. Uh, it is. It doesn't work with all transistors, I've noticed. I've built a few. Uh, some work, some doesn't. Uh, I ended up using 2N2222 uh, because um, it it was more it had some characteristics that the BC547 and, and those didn't have as which made these much more sensitive um, so the because that's how this works so here we have the touch uh, and the thing is when we touch here there comes a small small current over the resistor here and into this and I haven't drawn this correctly I forgot that one like so uh, there goes a small current in here into this uh, NPM transistor uh, and this small small current opens up this one a little bit more and then this one goes into another NPN transistor with a bit higher current uh, and that opens up this even more than this one and from 12 volts uh, it opens up more current going here than it did uh, through this one so it amplifies itself I guess if I have understood it correctly so we should be able to here take out and we don't need this uh, LED this is just for reference just to see that it works but we should be able to get an output here and maybe we also need to have a comparator after this uh, because this is the circuit and let me dim the lights here a bit so it is really sensitive when even when I come close with my finger to anything 
it lights up a bit uh, and then when I touch these two it lights up uh, more but it's faintly faintly lit all the time let me turn off all the lights there you see there is a, s a tiny light and when I touch the touchpad it lights up even more and when I release it with my fingers completely there's no light at all so it's very sensitive so we might need a comparator I don't know but let's start uh, building this circuit right here on uh, on a protoboard uh, and see uh, how that reacts putting this together and before I solder it together I just wanted to make sure that uh, I'm thinking uh, correct so when there when I don't touch there is actually 11 volts over those uh, over the LED or where the LED not over the LED but at this point in the schematics where I said we should have the jack out there it is 10 uh, or 11 volts almost and when I touch it goes down to less than one so <clears throat> that is probably the wrong place to have it if we instead look at that the end of the NPN that is where I am checking so that's ground here's 12 goes down to 2 Okay, so I say this to just have it as an output doesn't work because there is voltage at that place all the time. would need an inverted comparator is there a thing called that so when the voltage goes below 1 volt or 5 volts or whatever then it will be on is that possible it should be right you just put the comparator thing on the other just the other pins Time for some research. After some very short research, there is of course something called an inverted op amp comparator. Uh, and as I thought, you just exchange the uh, plus and minus. Plus, minus. So instead of having the the uh, threshold set by the negative or non the so instead of having the threshold put set by the inverted input you have the v in on the inverted input and then you have the reference on the uh, non inverted input so voltage divider on that one and then when this one goes beyond below this one we have a positive output so yes that's how we do deal with it so gonna solder this together and then we're gonna add a comparator to that so I've hooked this up now uh, 12 volts going to the pads and then uh, out from the pad is the 
going into this circuit right here into the Darlington and I'm just going to add the a jack just to try it out and I think it goes there and just gonna see how the CV response is in this without the inverted uh, comparator and now it's time for the threshold uh, voltage divider and I'm taking one 100k and one 22k and that gives me around 2.1 volts so it actually sinks to under 1 volt when I press this but might as well uh, just to be on the safe side but make sure when if you build this make sure that you check so your circuit has the same uh, voltage uh, drop as this one so if it doesn't you might need to um, alter these resistors for the voltage divider uh, for the threshold the voltage divider is in for the uh, on the positive input so we're, we now have a negative comparator and then also a diode on the output so uh, we don't get negative voltage out when there's nothing there it should just be zero and plus voltage so that is 12 volts in this case if you want another voltage out on these triggers then you need a voltage divider after the uh, diode as well because then you need to divide down the 12 volts that is coming out here into whatever you want so bear that in mind now let's hook this up and smoke test and then see if it works and here we have it with the uh, comparator input as well and we're just gonna make sure hold it like so so when we're not touching it's kind of zero when we do touch it it goes up to 11 and a half volts good so now we can try this in the rack again uh, if it works we can build uh, the other three and then we can start finger drumming all right so we have it into the 808 kick drum and we can do very fast simple this is so awesome i wish you could just see how sensitive it is all right so let's build the other three and then let's start see if we can do everything with this this should also work with the because of noise voice of course see that yes alright so here is the final build then uh, we have the touchpads connected to the Darlington circuits four of them made with 2, 2 and 22, 22 each um, so they're one two three four like so following along the uh, tl074 in the middle there and uh, there's a voltage divider f to all the positive or non-inverted uh, inputs of the op amp on two volts giving us a threshold of two volts for the comparator there's a 1N4148 on each output, so we don't get negative voltage out. We get either ground or plus 12 volts or plus. So again, make sure that you add a voltage divider on the output if you want another voltage other than 12 volts. Uh, please observe that I have <laughs> started using the 100 nanofarad capacitors on the legs of the IC and even the 10 microfarad caps uh, decoupling caps on the input of the voltage so making progress yay <laughs> so let's go and uh, try this out in the uh, rack OK, 
okay so it's a bit difficult to play like this from the side but it works so good I did not expect it to work this good actually So this is just, we've connected it to a couple of drums. We can, let's try and see if we can um, tap the tap looper with this one. Uh, I'm thinking that could be a good way of uh, tapping it. Here's another patch. Uh, the first pad is just controlling, is the gate input of a uh, ADAR, uh, where the envelope out goes into a vectoral VCA. So it works like that. The second one is going into the tap input of the 4031 tap looper, which uh, then goes out into the XOR bell. So we can tap, now we can use this to tap a beat. And because this is so responsive, this actually works much better for me than when I try to do it with the button because usually when I press the button there's a few microseconds I guess before the button is actually pressed in and then the beat of this very exact tap looper has already passed so this seems to be a much better way to get it in the beat Yeah, so just showing a few other ways to use this. Very versatile, I must say. So, with that done, we now have a finger drumming gate output touch controller, which is really sensitive and is really... This is the best interface I've had for this modular so far uh, for tapping beats and, and playing by hand or finger. So really like the way this ended up. Um, and uh, it was fun building a, a module from scratch uh, again, uh, which makes it that I might do a, a PCB for this. We'll see. Uh, there is not so much time for doing that either. There's not much time for anything, feels like, from time to time. But uh, we'll see about that. Uh, you can all download the schematics and make your own, of course. Um, the front panel is in the shop, just the front panel, and then you just make the circuit behind it on a proto board or Vero board or whatever you, you like. I do want to, again, mentioned that uh, in the in the description there is a link to the bare PCB outline of this and you can either get it on, on JLC ECEDA or uh, just download the Gerber files and you can make your own touch panel uh, with this uh, just the outline of this so that is that and I would really like to see if you make a panel I'd love to see uh, what you do um, and maybe I can show it here on the channel so let me know in the comments or send me a message or something uh, and or send me a panel that would be fun uh, so anyway thank you for watching I uh, hope to see you in the next episode where we'll do more inputs and controls until then take care Bye.